really, really good win. Uh, really uh, happy for these seniors, send them out like that. Um, I thought we played well um, in all three phases. Um, I thought special teams really stepped up tonight. Talk about the kickoff return for the touchdown. I thought we had a great uh, plan um, with the kickoffs and, and the pooches and the skies and, and, and everything just uh, really giving them different looks every time. I uh, thought we played really well at times on uh, on offense. Thought we played really well at times on defense. Um, we hopped up on them and and um, we knew we liked our matchup uh, with our D line uh, on their offensive line. So that's a really that's a really good team we just beat and a really well coached team that we just beat and um, just just really happy for these seniors um, to, to to bounce back. Uh, the way we did after that loss versus Arkansas State, and I know a lot of people counted us out, but we, we believed in this room, and um, you know, just that that was a that was a grit win right there. It was very very easy for that team to lay down and not go out there and perform the way they did um, when they're already bowl eligible, and um, they, they they sent those seniors out the way they needed to uh, be sent out. So just really happy for them. Questions. You know, Coach, you were coming off that 77 to 31 loss to Arkansas State. Just how important was it to getting off to that that first quarter start, jumping up on uh, South Alabama 24 to nothing? Yeah, it, it was. It, it was really good because that's a good team. You saw, um, you know, their defense, especially um, in the second half and the second quarter. I mean, it's they're they're they're, they're really good, and uh, they held a lot of people to um, not very many points and not very many yards. So for us to come out the way we did and play, I thought TJ played really well, uh, got the ball out. I thought our receivers played really well. Um, so it, it was definitely a, a team effort. Uh, what made you decide to go with the strategy of using those pooch kit? Pooch kicks in the first place. Yeah, you know, Co Coach DePrado, um, you know, uh, approached me about some of that kind of stuff. And obviously the way we kicked the ball off last week, uh, didn't like that. They have some dangerous returners. So we wanted to find some good plans. And, and um, it also allowed us to be aggressive and, and try to almost like an onside kick. And, and if we don't get it, you know, that they can't run, run it back for a touchdown. That was basically the thinking. So um, just being very aggressive and um, we were able to get one. We almost got a couple more. and. Uh, you know, you put a lot of pressure on those guys when you do something like that, and uh, I thought our guys responded well. You know, y'all go on that first offensive drop, nothing happens, but then the defense responds with that big fumble protection. How did that touch up basically kind of create that snowball effect, kind of yeah. getting the ball rolling for y'all? It was. It was. We, we talked all week about we, we've been capturing the momentum. We've been getting, getting the momentum early in the game, but we haven't been able to capture it uh, for an uh, extended period of time, and, and I thought um, – we were able to do that tonight, and so that was really good. And hats off to the defense for for coming out and do that. Caleb Culp with a, with a big score, and and uh, that's fun, man. When you get touchdowns um, on defense on special teams, that, that's a lot of fun. Yeah, getting those turnovers on defense—that's something the defense has been lacking the last few games, and to finally get over that hump and even get a defensive touchdown. Yeah. How nice was that to see to kind of get your your defense a little bit more breathing room after yeah. letting go seventy-seven last week? It was. It was. Uh, it was really good to see to you know for them to bounce back and. Um, you know, we, we challenged them. We coached them hard. I thought our coaches did a really good job of, of coaching all week and putting together a really good plan and, and uh, going out there and executing it. Because once again, that's a really good team. You watch them on film, and, um, you know, I know I guess they're 6-6 six and six now, but, you know, that's a they won 10 games, I think, last year. I mean, they're really good. And um, so I, I just – Really excited for these guys and these coaches. You know, the, last week was hard on these coaches too. You know, the, the players and, and coaches and everyone involved was was hard. And, and for them to bounce back the way they did, and um, I put a lot of pressure on those guys this week. I did, and um, but it had to be done to, to get this win. Yeah, I think once we got done with spring ball and we got the the recruiting done. Um, when fall camp rolled around after the first couple of days, I felt really good about um, kind of what we had. Um, and, and this this is kind of what we did with all the injuries. You're talking about no Tory Spears, no Sam Latham there at the end, no Chance Main at the end, Nash gone for half the season. Um, so, man, it was – it's. Um, it was tough. It was a it was a little bit of a roller coaster this year, but it was really good to go out the way we did um, and get that win. That this was a this was, this one was very big for this program and moving forward. Um, you talk about recruiting and and getting some momentum going to the bowl and and um, so just 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 really happy for everyone involved and and uh, but to answer your question, yes.
TJ Finley. Uh, he's now the, the single season leader in, in, in Texas State program history with in passing yards. You know, getting here so late like he did, got, he got here in, in July, I believe, uh, and just taking over the, the leadership role in, in this offense and doing what he did so quickly. Can you just talk about that and, yeah. and how he had to kind of expedite the whole process and, and get in there and, and, and turned out the season he did? Yeah, I think he's, um, he's played really well, and uh, he's a great kid with a great family and, and um, just really happy for him, the way he responded. Um, I thought, you know, that's what I told him, and I, I don't know if I told you guys or not, but, you know, minus the turnovers last week, he played a really, really solid game. And um, I thought he came back tonight and, and put the ball where it needed to be uh, put most of the night. I mean, that was a big time throw at the end and catch by Connor Fox. I mean, I thought he stood in there and, and the touchdown to, I think it was Cole in the back left corner. I mean, he threw some really good balls today. And, and um, like I said, that's a that's a really good defense uh, that we just played. So um, just happy for him and the way he's responded all year. Um, you know, it would have been easy for him too to get down on himself, but he came out to practice and and uh, you know held these guys accountable and and just happy for him and and really the leader he's becoming. You know, no Joey Hobert tonight, but some other guys stepped up. You just mentioned Connor Fox and others, but is Hobert going to be okay for the bowl game or what's yeah. his status? Yeah, yeah, he'll be he'll be okay. He, he was he was really a game time decision um, this week. Um, it was just you know. Didn't feel comfortable putting him in there. Um, as, as important he is to our program and team, um, just just didn't want to risk it and, and go out there. And, and uh, I wanted to make sure he was 100. percent You know, when y'all got out to the lead, South Alabama kind of crawls back. It seemed like when South Alabama got in one position, offense immediately does what it needs to do. Get it. How important was it for that offense to continue, like yeah. making sure? South Alabama was going to tie this game. Up. No doubt, it, that was huge, and just like you said, I felt like we always responded. You know, they would go down and score, or they would get some momentum. We were able to recapture the momentum, and that was kind of the message before the game all week. Is, is, um, you know, we got to keep the momentum and, and um, one play at a time, and uh, I thought they did. You know, Ashton Hawk Hawkins had a really big game. You know, Joey being out, and also Cole Wilson. Just what about those two wide receivers that have been kind of been a key part of this offense? Yeah, both of those guys are really good players, and and uh, it's been good to get Ashton really going these last couple of weeks. And and um, he's a tremendous player with tremendous talent. And and um, sometimes it takes a little bit. You know, Cole Cole, although he was new, he was he was um, not new to the system. He was there all last year, and. And, um, you know, we moved Ashton from slot to outside because of injuries. And then he kind of found his home at, on the outside. And he can really play both in slot and, and outside. So he's very versatile. And, and uh, we just got to keep feeding on the ball like we are and good things happen. You know, this team finishes the season 5-1 and one at home. You know, best home record since that, that really good 2005 season. What is it about playing at home just gives this team like an extra edge to it? Yeah, I think to me it's it's – you know, I might have a different perspective of, on it, but to me, it's like we train out there. Um, you know, the the way we work and and we run and and you lift right here and and um, basically go to battle every day in the off season with your brothers, and then um, we practice out there every day. You got spring ball, fall camp, so it's just something special about you know. Uh, playing at home and and um, I think our fans I, man I was I was excited about the crowd tonight I really was I thought um, you know I know it's Thanksgiving and and uh, all that kind of good stuff but man that I thought we were able to to really put on a um, a good show for these guys and and uh, that'll continue so um, I thought it was a great night and and I just really appreciate everyone coming out and supporting us and not to leave out a ish, but you know he's the first 1,200 yard rusher since uh, Claude Mathis. You know one of the greatest Bobcat players to ever play. Just what about you know ish and that offensive line being able to get such an accomplishment like that? Yeah, it's awesome, and and he's a he's a great kid, and and um, man, he's brought it every day, and and you know he was banged up. That's that when I think about Ish's season this year, there was a there was a time that he probably could have said, you know what, coach, yeah, I'm good, I'm I'm hurt, I can't play. And he, he didn't do that. He fought through injuries and was able to, to really come back and accomplish something um, that I, I know was one of his goals. So, um, you know, put the team first and, and went out there and, and uh, you know, had a heck of a season. Do you have a, a preference for the bowl game? Do you want to travel somewhere? Do you want to be in Texas? Or do you just, you just want to play in one? Yeah, yeah. I, I don't really have a preference. Um, I think, obviously, it would be um, – 
you know, cool uh, for our fans to be able to, to travel to that. So as long as it's somewhere decently close where they can come and, and give us support, I think, you know, I think we'll travel very well. Um, you know, first time going to a bowl game, all that kind of stuff. I know our fans will travel well. So uh, we have an exciting offense and an exciting defense. And, you know, we've had two kickoff returns for touchdowns. So the brand of play that, that we, um, the brand of football that we play is exciting. So I think somebody's going to want to keep us and uh, get us, a, you know, one of those good bowls. Yeah, you've mentioned complete games, full games. This was the first game where you had a defensive touchdown, offense touchdown, and special teams touchdown. Uh, is it a good time to hit that stride and, and figure that whole situation yeah, out? Yeah, that was. It was really good. And, um, you know, it's – it's we have. We've – we've now that the season's over, you can – or the regular season's over, you can talk about it a little bit. I know I hit on it. The injuries, man. I, I, I don't know if I've been part of a um, – a season with this many injuries to key players that um, so you know it's it's been a little bit up and down but we've you know those next guys that that came up they've played really well and and um, you know that's a credit to those guys and these coaches too we got some really good coaches in there that got these guys ready you know you were just kind of talking about you know having so many injuries how has this team kind of been able to keep keep on getting these wins you know getting the first ball edge despite having all these injuries you know, I, I think it was one of those deals where it's um, – I think the way we started beating Baylor like that, um, you know, really propelled us, you know, the rest of the season. Even though we had some ups and downs there, I think the way we came out and played that first game, um, I think the buy-in and, and um, you know, a lot of credit to those those seniors, those captains, even though some of them couldn't play, you know, coming in here – and having those team meetings and talking to the players and because it's easy, you know, it really is. It's easy to point fingers, especially with a game like last week. It's easy to sit in there and point fingers at this person, at your coaches and all that. But to come together like we did versus a really good team, uh, this one might be one of my, my, my favorite wins uh, for sure of the season. Because um, just the way that our guys responded and, and on senior night, man, it's, that, was, that was special. You know, obviously, in the in the off season, coming into the this situation, you you wanted to get to bowl eligibility. You wanted to have a winning record. But you knew this program it was a pretty downtrodden program. But now, sitting here, and that you've you've accomplished that, you've gotten to that point. I know it's it's pretty fresh. It's probably hard to get perspective on it. But how does it feel? How does it feel to know that you came here almost a year ago with this goal in mind, and and you've accomplished it? Um, you know, I I felt like we had a, a really good uh, game plan, and and we. You know, our our goal is to be conference champions, and, and and really, you know, you hate to use that coach cliche or whatever, two or three plays away, but you know, we were really close. You know, you talk about the UTSA loss, very close. You talk about the Louisiana Lafayette. I mean, you're up, you know, two scores, with nine minutes, ten minutes left to go, and and um, you know, the Coastal thing was kind of a weird game. Um, you know, just we were we were really close to accomplishing everything we wanted to accomplish, but. Um, really happy for these for these seniors to be able to go to that bowl game and for our first year to kind of set that foundation piece and and to build off that the recruiting will be huge uh, these next couple of weeks you you would think it slow down a little bit but it just ramps up i mean this is to be the busiest time of the year for us these next three weeks so um we got to continue to to get really good players in here that's how you win ball games is get really good players